Hi, this is Mark Costco. I'd like to share with you a video of a, uh, quote, routine, end quote, uh, cataract surgery using horizontal chop techniques. Um, this is a lady with a previous high myopic LASIK uh, with uh, advanced low tension glaucoma. Uh, that's a 2.2 .2, uh, diamond from Mastel. Um, is the is the best incision I think that can be made uh, for lenses that uh, still have good optics. This is a uh, capsular excess um, attachment to a MST handle, um, and we're just completing a, a well-sized rexus here for this. Uh, relatively uh, large, previously highly myopic eye. Um, and uh, we'll hydrodissect. I hope to do a few videos over the next few weeks showing different techniques of FACO. This is a horizontal chop, as you'll see in a minute. and I'll also do uh, vertical chop. Uh, as well as um, a fair amount of laser-assisted uh, cataract surgery. Um, uh, just put a little more viscose in there. Um, here we'll uh, use the FACO tip to just take a little bit of the epinuclear material off the top. Um, and then we'll, uh, uh, once we get down kind of to the nucleus there, we'll enter with our Cybel horizontal chopper. Uh, this is probably my preferred technique for a soft to mediumly dense lens. We'll bury the FACO tip there. Burying the FACO tip there in the middle takes about 0 0.02 uh, CDE uh, on this Alcon Centurion machine. I apologize, I don't have um, my fluidics uh, display. That is a setting that I, I know I can turn on on my Alcon microscope, um, but I, I keep forgetting to do it. Uh, I'll try to do that. Um, here we're splitting this hemonucleus. Uh, again, we've used virtually no FACO energy um, with a good viscose fill uh, in chop mode. It, it takes virtually no energy to um, uh, chop this lens, and I, I really do feel this is a far superior technique to uh, so-called sculpting or divide and conquering. Um, and uh, with uh, uh, high vacuum on the Centurion, we can easily um, uh, get rid of this uh, nucleus efficiently. Um, slightly awkward on this last uh, um, hemisphere, uh, but then we chop it and emulsify the last little bit of it here. Um, yeah, and then there's a few little chips remaining, kind of sub incisionally here that we'll get. Um, arguably safer to go with those with the uh, INA tip, but uh, sometimes if it's very dense, it's hard to get it to go through the INA chip. I probably should have um, infused BSS during my changeover there from FACO to INA, especially given that this is a myopic eye. I do believe she already had a PVD though. Um, and um, not much cortex here to remove, uh, but I will go around and sweep underneath the anterior capsule. I definitely like to grab cortex from the anterior side. You get fewer strings that way. Here we are polishing the posterior capsule. Um, this tip is really good for this. Don't recommend doing this if you like doing YAG capsulotomies. Um, I'm kidding. Um, 
fill the eye with Provis. Now, I, I really prefer to polish the underside of the capsule, and you have to be careful though, you don't want to polish the back side of the iris. Uh, so I'm adding a little viscoat there um, to kind of push the iris away. Um, this is a titanium uh, capsule polisher from Epsilon. I think I'll do another video eventually where I show the um, what model number it is. But this is the, the very best I've found. I, I think I picked, picked this up from Jason Jones, who's cataract videos are, are great um, uh, but there's several reasons to polish like this uh, one is you get a much quieter eye um, it's debated and I think probably not really proven that it decreases uh, PCO and YAG rates um, but you get a much quieter eye um, you know this is a, a post highly myopic LASIK eye with K's of about 37 you know so even with all the good uh, techniques for um, measurement and eye well calcs you have risk of exchange so I, I think if you've got a polished capsule you um, have an easier time if and when you have to do an eye well exchange um, this is a, a AMO slash J&J ZC Boo, which is um, really just an excellent lens. Uh, by the way, I have no financial interest whatsoever in any of the um, materials used or discussed here. I'm going underneath the lens to remove viscoelastic. Um, we're a little over distended here, slight reverse pupillary block. The, there's actually good. Um, overlap of the capsule and the eye well, though it doesn't look that way here. Um, here what I'm doing, which I really encourage, is I'm, I'm pulsing um, BSS both in the capsule as well as in the sulcus uh, with the eye kind of soft. And you, um, if you do that and you polish the capsule, uh, both the actual poster capsule as well as the underside of the anterior capsule you get just this exquisitely quiet eye I mean look look at that there's zero in the eye there's nothing no specs whatsoever uh, this is just a real pristine way to do it that's uh, cefuroxime which I highly recommend decrease your endophthalmitis rate from one in a thousand to one in five thousand and cost less than a dollar per case I highly recommend it we get it from Cardinal and mix it ourselves off-label. Uh, but this lady did great. Thanks so much. Those are my kiddos.